I haven't actually introduced Anne properly to the vlog. When I started the vlog, I had moved to Berlin at that point. Anne wasn't in actually any of the vlogs, but now Anne's gonna be in a lot of the vlogs. So Anne's gonna be like co-main co -main character. Do you wanna yeah. tell the story? Anne and I actually grew up together in a sense from like the ages of zero to... We knew each other when we were little and then we didn't know each other. We never saw each other for like 15 years maybe. We have been dating for almost five years, but now we're no longer dating. We are engaged. <laughs> it's day two. The launch of the music video happened yesterday. A thousand views, day one. Really good, really impressed with that. Um, my first music video, I don't have many fans yet, so that is like a huge push from friends and family, and I'm excited to, for the next thousand. So hopefully the next thousand will come this week. Going to be doing some paid promotion when it comes to like Facebook ads, but also influencer marketing. I found two influencers that are willing to post for paid, obviously. Can you not do that here? Where do you want me to go? I just, I'm, it's like itches when, my sister's getting married this week. She's getting married in two days. We are going to the rehearsal party in like two hours. So we need to get ready, got to suit up. The music video is like my first product. It's something you can watch, it's something you can enjoy, it's something you can like watch the full way through and get, get value out of it. So I need to really market this product and carry it forward. And it's going to be a long road. Biggest way to get to a million views is just having other people share the video and build some type of network effect. And so I'm going to be looking into who has been watching the video in the last week or so, and just to see like, is there an aggregate like age group, um, some type of demographic that I can double down on and target through paid ads and hopefully get some type of return on investment there and then get to like 2000 views, bump that to 10,000 and then target like big audiences in the same def demographic like Facebook groups, magazines, blogs, all these other things that can target that demographic. And then we get into the tens of thousands the 50,000, the 100,000, and that's when really things start to roll. Sometimes this happens, I'm not really sure why. The view count has paused at 1,087, and it's been like this for the last, what, five hours? Yeah. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure how, but I think like YouTube is trying to figure out like where all these views are coming from, and if they should double count views from certain IPs. A lot of people think you can like, just be in your house, watch the video a thousand times, and then you'll get a thousand views on YouTube. That's not true. You can't do that. Okay, you know that. I already told. I already told you that. With when it comes to view counts in YouTube, it's based on your IP address, which stands for your internet protocol. It's not on device. It's not on like, man, yeah, your device really. That's the only one I got. But if you're at home on your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi has an IP address. You can watch the Decisions music video on your Wi-Fi network and you can get one view. If you really like the video, watch it again, and watch it again, and watch it again. But at a, one, at some point, YouTube will realize, wow, there's like thousands of views coming from this one IP address. That's great because that shows high engagement, but YouTube's not going to give you a thousand views from that IP address. And I'm not quite sure how much they would give you from that, but I, they must max out maybe around 10 or 15 views from that certain IP and then if they really realize over time that they're continuing to watch over and over again, they might give you more views, but they're not going to just give you every view count if you're going crazy on the video from your IP address. If you really want to give us a lot of views on the decisions video, you should watch it on different IP addresses, like hook up to your Wi-Fi network, then hook up and use data. For example, data has a different IP address than your Wi-Fi network. Or go to all the Starbucks in, in your city. So here's one thing I've been struggling with today. I refresh the YouTube video every like half an hour just to see how many views came in because it's exciting. You want to see you want to see if people are watching and you want to see that number go up and up, but it's getting so distracting that I'm not even focusing on like growing it and I already see it starting to stagnate like that initial growth tick is starting to plateau a bit 
which is completely normal and I saw that coming so I need to stop refreshing that YouTube account. I'm going to try to not refresh it for the rest of the day to see how many views are at the end of the day. Be happy with it. Okay, rehearsal party time. Gotta get, stop working and get ready because my sister's getting married and it's important to rehearse for the marriage because you don't want to screw that up. It's an important day and you don't want to screw that up. Yeah.